so. Um, Eric Klein, as a matter of fact, he's the um, first person I've ever met who has his own Wikipedia page is a professor of classics and anthropology at George Washington University. You know, I make notes and memorize them. <laughs> He's a specialist in biblical archaeology, military history of the Mediterranean from, the, from antiquity to the present. He's written or collaborated on 16 books and written nearly 100 articles. He's also been featured on a number of television presentations. His book, 1177 BC, The Year Civilization Collapsed, is a, is a fascinating read. The stories and the conclusions are, are truly interesting. Um, maybe welcome um, Dr. Eric Klein. Thank you very much. Wow, it's bright up here. You can all hear me, I hope? Okay, wonderful. This is the first time for me. This is extremely exciting and an honor, and I thank you all for coming today. Now, uh, one thing I am going to do is uh, illustrate with slides, um, but I'll explain to you if you can't see where you are <coughs> what we're doing. And what I want to do is present some of the findings from the book and basically show you why I think it's... Uh, one of the most fascinating periods in history, this 1177 BC. It's the end of the late Bronze Age. Uh, we're talking about 3,000 years ago, obviously. And this is uh, when everything collapses. Most people think about the end of Rome uh, as, as the major collapse. I would argue that this is as significant, if not even more significant uh, for us today. <clears throat> so what happened I'll give you the background for a moment. When Rob Tempio from Princeton University Press came down uh, to GW and said to me, I, I want you to write a book on the collapse. <clears throat> and I said, well, sure, I can write a book on the collapse. But you know what is um, as interesting is what collapsed. And so I said, I'll, I'll write a book about the collapse if you can allow me in a large part of it to write about what collapsed. because. It was an international world back then. It was globalized, and in part, I think that's why it did collapse. And he, he said, okay, fine, I'll give you latitude, which was nice. And so the uh, ensuing result is what you see here. So the beginning of the book talks about a group, the Sea Peoples, that I'll go back to in a moment. And then the end is about what might have caused the collapse, because to be honest, we still don't know. There are a number of possibilities out there, and I go through the various possibilities uh, and uh, come up with what I think might be the most logical answer. But this is archaeology. This is ancient history. This is 3,000 years ago. We're not sure what happened. So uh, we came up with it. I, I wrote it. And then he said to me, and I don't know if he remembers this, he said, I want to make a book trailer. And I said, a book trailer? What's that? He says, well, it's where you stand up in front of the camera and you advertise your book as if it's a movie coming out. And I said, what, you want me to hold my book and say, please buy it? And I said, I won't do that. No, no. And he says, no, no, I have in mind something really over the top. This, this, this. So we got together with an ex-student of mine, Jesse Krinsky, who runs Gold Medal Productions, and he put together about a minute-long trailer. And it ran for, oh, probably six months before the book came out. I have no idea if it had any effect on sales, but it, it was a lot of fun to do. So um, if you want, I can show that to you. If not, we'll just skip right through. Uh, you want to? Yeah? All right. Yeah, so let's see. It'll be projected here. Hopefully the sound will be up because the sound is everything. And I will, I will warn you right now, it is completely over the top. And it is made tongue in cheek. It's supposed to be one of these summer blockbuster things. So let's see if we can get this working.
Thank you. I will now take questions. <laughs> uh, seriously, how can you follow that? All right. So anyway, we had a lot of fun doing it, and I thank Rob Tempio for making us do it, and thank uh, Jesse Krinsky for making it in the first place. So if you see further book trailers out there, like Adrienne Meyer's done one for her Amazon's book, so I think this is maybe the way of the future, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let me go back for a moment then and take a look uh, and see exactly uh, where we are, and actually, I can't even see my slides there, so, oh, there we go, okay. What we're dealing with is the Late Bronze Age. This is from about 1700 to 1200 BC, and this is the age when we have the Minoans and the Mycenaeans and the Hittites and various other people. It is an interconnected world. Now, you've probably heard about some of these people already. Uh, this is the time of Hatshepsut, the female pharaoh, Tutmosis III, one of the greatest conquerors of all of uh, Egypt, Amenhotep III, who is my favorite guy, uh, father of Akhenaten, the heretic pharaoh, King Tut, you've heard of, uh, Ramses II, possibly the pharaoh of the Exodus, and then Ramses III, and he is the man uh, under whom pretty much everything collapses during the time of uh, the, uh, the catastrophe, as we call it. Now, this is also the time period of the Battle of Kadesh, uh, the Trojan War, some of you may have heard of that or seen the movie with Brad Pitt. <laughs> and also the time of the Exodus. So uh, these are all about 1250, 1200 BC. This is the uh, end of, the, uh, end, uh, of the, the late Bronze Age here. Now, it has been said, for the most part, yeah, there we go. It's hard, to, it's at a very, very bad angle for me. Actually, we can't turn that a little bit, can we, so I can see it? No, just if we, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, it's time to, there we go, if we can turn it just a bit so I can catch a glimpse which one it is, there we go, perfect, thank you, good, and you all can still see it, okay, good, because now I can see it too and I know where I am, right. <laughs> Okay, it has been said for about 100 years or so that the Sea Peoples were the culprit. This is uh, an explanation that was come up with uh, by Gaston Maspero, one of the earliest Egyptologists. He was French, and he said, oh, there's this group named the Sea Peoples that the Egyptians talk about. Uh, they don't actually call them that, but in French it comes out to the Sea Peoples. And he said, they're the ones that are responsible for destroying absolutely everything at the late, uh, end of the late Bronze Age. The thing, though, is he came up with this theory based on one inscription, uh, one major one plus a couple little minor ones, but before any of the archaeology had been done. And so thereafter, any time any site was excavated and they found that it had been destroyed, they attributed it to the Sea Peoples. And so this has become kind of a bogeyman. This is, oh my goodness, you know, the, the Sea Peoples are going to come and get you. And this has changed a little bit over time, and that was in part what I wanted to do in the book, was to say that the Sea Peoples may not be completely responsible for the collapse. And in fact, I think that they are almost a symptom rather than the cause. That is, they are as much victims as they are oppressors. So this is one of the things that I wanted to take a look at in this book. Uh, and people have put out a fairly simplified way of looking at things. They said, there was a drought back then that caused a famine, that caused the Sea Peoples to start. They cut the trade routes and therefore everything collapsed. Now that is certainly possible, but I would say this is a little bit too simple and I would add in a couple of other factors because I don't think it's just drought. There is drought, I'll show you that in a moment. But I think it's other things as well because we know there are earthquakes, we know that there are other invaders and so on and so forth. So I think it's a multitude of factors and hopefully I'll be able to show that. So what I want to talk to you today and what I did in the book was to really ask what happened. But I started out going through some of the evidence that, that we've got. So for instance, let me just give you this uh, as a kind of a fun uh, and interesting example. We're in the Bronze Age. Bronze Age starts in about 3000 BC. That's the early Bronze Age. We're down in the late Bronze Age at this time. 